Hey guys, Jordan. Um, so we are two weeks post-surgery, and I thought I would do just a quick update on how recovery is going. Um, recovery is going slow, which, I mean, is kind of to be expected. I mean, it was just, this was a major surgery. This wasn't minor. This was, like, they cut out this whole part of my skull, and uh, there's a lot of reconstruction done in my head. So my body has just a ton of healing to do. Um, and having a really rough time sleeping at night, uh, it's hard. I have to get my head elevated, of course, because of this, the swelling and the blood flow and the pressure. It's better to keep it elevated. Uh, but it's hard for me to sleep like that. It's hard for me to get comfortable. Of course, before surgery, my, the most comfortable way that I slept was on this side, which is a no-go. Um, I'll try to, like, sleep on this side, but it's hard to do that at an angle, so, um, can't really do that. And then it's just hard to get in a position where I don't have pain and where I'm comfortable. Like, my head hurts to the touch. It's, like, tender in the back, so sometimes when it's against a pillow, it hurts a little bit. I just, for some reason, it's really tender and really sore on this side. Um, like right around here kind of feels like, like, like I bumped it or like there's a sore or there's like a rug burn. I don't know. It's weird. It's just really tender and really sore on this side. So it hurts a little bit when it's against the pillow. Um, still getting like pressure headaches, um, around the front of my head and the back. And then I get a lot of pain right around my temple and around my jaw area. So just trying to stick more to the softer foods and soups and stuff just to help with the jaw pain. Um, kind of hurts when I talk. Um, I don't know if it's the sound that's hurting me or if it's like the jaw and it, it hurts my jaw a little bit too. Like makes me a little bit sore. Uh, got, got a lot of ear pain in my inner ear. Um, it kind of comes and goes, but kind of kind of feels like when you have an ear infection, which hopefully I don't have an ear infection, but um, just kind of that kind of pain like here and there in this ear. Um, but I mean, a lot of pain on this side of my head obviously, since that's the side they worked on, but most of it's around the jaw area, my temple area, and my inner ear. Um, I'm getting more headaches. I've been really nauseous today. Um, not, sure, not sure why I'm more nauseous today. Um, I mean, I've had some nausea, and I'm still taking the anti-nausea medicine. Just, try, just taking one a day of those. Um, but... <sighs> got really just feeling really nauseous today um the dizziness is was starting to get a little bit worse like i've had some some more waves of dizziness like even just sitting down or when i walk around a little bit um i feel worse of course when the more activity that i do like if i if i get up and walk around or try to make myself some coffee or something I feel kind of like worn out afterwards and my head starts hurting so just taking it as easy as easy as I can um I've got a little a little helper with me right here my little companion my little wally <laughs> one of my boys um They've been super sweet with me, um, especially Ludo. He's been just spending a lot of time with me and just laying down with me whenever. Um, I was having a really rough night last night at around 4 a.m. And it's like he knew because he came and he just snuggled up to me right then. <laughs> He's really sweet. Um, so it's nice having them here. So just trying to keep from moving around too much. Um, keep myself from any kind of bending or stooping and just trying to get 
as much rest as I can because I know my body needs it. My body's definitely telling me it needs it. Um, every once in a while I'll try to watch TV or play Animal Crossing. Um, sometimes kind of, I think that kind of makes me a little bit like my head feel a little bit fuzzy. Um, and I get some headaches and get a little bit of dizziness. So um haven't really done anything like that today. I've just been like laying down on the couch all day today. Um just because my body just feels so tired. I so I feel like really physically and mentally drained. Um which it's only two we're only two weeks out after surgery and a lot of people in the Facebook group say that had said that it was at least four weeks before they started to even feel close to normal again. So I'm only at two weeks and my body has been through a lot. So it's to be, I, f I feel like healing will come. Um, I'm on track. Just have to be really kind to my body and just let it, let it rest, let it do its thing. Uh, and that's basically what I'll be doing, just taking it easy as much as I can and trying to get some sleep. Thank you. So thank you everybody who's reached out um, and gave me, given me their well wishes. Um, hopefully I start to see some relief soon. And I um, guess I will try to update like maybe next week or something. Uh, but hopefully my next update will be even better. <laughs> but for now, this is where I'm at. Um, and I, I, I feel like this was a good decision and it will be good. Um, it just takes a lot of healing and a lot of patience for my body to recover, which is the hard part and recovery is always the hard part so um hopefully that just starts to go even smoother um so thanks for watching um hope to see you guys again doing another video i can't wait to start doing actual videos again um but th that's a while off but thanks for tuning in. Um, if you want to keep updated, be sure to hit subscribe. Uh, and hopefully I will be updating you next week with a much better recovery stage. <laughs> Bye.